Welcome everybody to the news slash opinions video that I always do. Everything has my opinion, so take it as you will. Hate it or love it, I'm still gonna be here, still gonna be giving my opinions, and still gonna be doing my video. If you remember, Kiki Hime did get uh, attacked, not in a vicious way, but she got hugged, glomped, whatever you wanna call it, uh, by a person who has been stalking her for 10 years. 10 actual years. What does this dude do now? He sends schizophrenic emails that land in the spam folder ever since that situation happened. That was when she was when Kiki Hime was cosplaying in Japan at an event in Japan, at a convention in Japan. It was a meet and greet. It was kind of a cosplay meet and greet where she would take pictures with fans. He jumped the barricade and gave her a, a hug and didn't want to get away from her. And it's just being awful as usual. I don't blame her for being this aggressive. This idiot know this face is all over the internet. Everyone knows who she is, who he is. The issue is, the problem is that I have with this, what really annoys the hell out of me is when it comes to stalkers like this, police will not do anything unless they actually harm you. And it's usually too late by that time. My hope is that since Kiki Hime knows that he's around now, she has uh, different security measures, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the company that she's working for and everything have given her certain security measures. Pretty sure she has security measures when she does cosplay and things like that. She is not going to let this stop her. Of course, stalkers don't care. Stalkers are, especially this guy, very delusional about what's happening. JP police, like I mentioned, will not do anything unless there's actual harm done. Like if he punches her or does something like that, then yes, they will do something. Other than that, he just pretty much let go. Maybe they'll keep him for a night and that's it. And that's what sucks about being stalked. Most countries will kind of do the same thing because they're like, oh, we can't put him away if he hasn't done anything. I can understand that point. But from the point of the victim, in this case, Kiki Hime, it is very annoying. So that piece of S soccer uh, bastard has been sending me schizophrenic emails to let him a spam folder ever since. Seems still talking about how we love each other and should marry and discussing things that need no mention. Please effing blank. I hope he goes to prison or something. I can't believe he's still so obsessed. Uh, Crusade, can't believe he's still doing this. Disgusting. Is that creep from Tokyo? That type of stuff, it's just its just not right. It's just not right. That's how I'm going to leave it there. And of course, people are saying the same thing here. That's just pathetic. Everyone knows who he is. He's been doing this for over 10 years. This thing sucks. Worst part is that police don't seem to be interested in dealing with him at the time of the assault. Hope Kiki Hime get herself a bodyguard of some sort next time she goes to an event. She pretty much has to. They don't seem interested in preemptive measures over there. Given cultural differences and how they, they're not about not shaking up the peace, I can see why they have it in place as such. But I really think it's misguided. It really is. It can cause a lot of danger to the person involved. So there was a scalper going on. There is a scalper who decided to get all of the plushies inside of, of round one. If you know, round one is like an arcade claw machine place. They are in different places of the US. And Hololive was doing a collaboration with them to have Hololive plushies in there. This guy is scum, just being honest with you. Because what he did, okay, I understand. You can get maybe like five of them. You can be like, yeah, I won. And then leave some for the rest of us. Leave them for the rest of the community. But no, he's trying to make excuses saying that, oh, he just, he loves winning prizes. This is beyond loving to win prizes and it's starting to become your scalper. So I got sent this and just know if you like, if you like them, I hate you, especially if you're selling them. This person um, was outed on TikTok and it's like, wow, Callie responded, wow. Not sure if anything can be done about it, but I sent this video to our staff. So I think what can possibly be done is, is Hololive can be given a, a, can give a directive to round one for this collab. For these, they are only allowed to keep five, maybe max per person, per moment, like per person, period, per day. Of course, there's always going to be people trying to take advantage of it. It's like, hey, you go in or you go in, or now I'm getting it for my sister. Now I'm getting it for my cousin or whatever, but um, this isn't good. He has also been very aggressively, you know, just being a dick. Uh, big bro, check Morris Twitter. You might be cooked. Haven't seen it, but care less about it. the haters can leave. Uh, just sharing helpful tips for those who want help and occasionally showing off the skills. What's your Oshi? To be honest, I only started following after uh, round one, released these, but Iris is the current favorite. And what am I talking about? This dude here. I completed my mission and cleared out all the Gura and Inagoshis. I'm glad that all my previous practice paid off and I can confidently say that I have fully mastered the yellow pole in the whole game at round one. There is actually a brand new round one opening tomorrow in San Francisco that is fully stocked with the Hollow Live plushies. So you may or may not see me there trying to win the other characters. Yeah, I made it his goal to empty everything. Crazy, nervous, some people. How dare you call Mori Mori of all people a hater? She's from the company that the merch is from, you absolute tourist. I sent this to know if you basically that's the one that I sent you that I showed you. Now watch the video, but if you want to teach tips, the tips uh, crane game, you do not have to empty the machine, you know. Be considered to other fans. As simple as that. 
Trying to win the other characters is not definitely someone in the fan base. Reason why last week when I went to my local round one, they didn't have any plushies in the collab. I was looking forward to it since we've been working most of the time and wanted to at least win a full Moko. They're my favorite. When I arrived, no Hollow Life, asked employee, and you know, the rest is history. Hollow Life plushie scalper, empty machines of their plush, sell on eBay for exorbitant prices, gloats about clearing the stock. Callie finds out, plans to tell staff, scalper accuses Callie of being a hater. It's like Hollow Life story about scalping. So yeah, they're just talking about other stuff that goes on here. Other things that he's doing. You know, he, he's like having the Mori Calliope mad at you on Twitter, the actual Mori Calliope. Um, he thinks that it's because he made it. And here he is on eBay selling it. Check his eBay and hello, they're so easy to win. And why mark them up so much? Generally hope they ban this guy from R1. He's ruining so much for the community. He is, I mean, he's not doing anything wrong in, in the sense of laws or rules or whatever, but he's just being an a-hole. Uh, Hollow Life Production X Round 1 Collab Exclusive Gargar 14 inch large, 68 bucks. 68 bucks for this. He's selling the 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 Mokoko, 75 bucks. He's like lowest price for $50 with free shipping. So you can find on the market but people think scalping is apparently what I do to feed the kids. Uh, you have proven nothing else other than you're a scalper here. You have proven nothing else. And here, it's like deleted his vids about winning the Hollow Life plushies from round one and only left up his giveaway post about them. So he won uh, Fauna. He won other ones. Uh, guy deleted all his vids about winning all the Hollow Life plushies from round one. Only left up his giveaway post about them. So yeah. This guy's this guy's a jerk. This guy's an absolute jerk. He absolutely is. And don't do this. Don't do this, kids. That's my big thing to you guys. Don't go and do this. Here is a little bit of a nicer meme, a nicer moment in time. Of course, memes and all these moments that I put out here is never to make fun of the person doing it or the VTuber involved. It's just funny moments I find. <laughs> POV, you forget to take your meds. So of course I can't have it all there because sometimes there are, um, you know, uh, copyright stuff, copyright stuff. So that's what it is. Here you go. And there you go. A Suisse giving you your, 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 ooh, Suisse eating ice cream. And of course they give the little spoon there. All these wonderful things here with Suisse. It's the moment you don't take your meds apparently. And it says, all anime is sad when you think about it. The cute girls aren't even real. What's the point? Here you can find the Suisse murderous Axius in her natural habitat, luring unsuspecting victims in her cave to blank them. So yeah, there you go. A little bit of fun time. Cover has released their financial results for the fiscal year 2025 and their next quarter too. So companies always do this. At least publicly traded companies, I believe, have a legal responsibility to do this every single quarter to let their investors, the people that are spending money on them and investing in them, to know exactly what's going on and know exactly what they're doing. So here we go. We are, of course, showing their financial reports here. I like showing the physical stuff first. Of course, we're going through all this stuff here, uh, taking a look at their uh, quarterly revenue per VTuber. It's saying uh, year on year, it's growing. It went down a little bit from quarter four i believe they had a concert and things like that they had other special events when special events happen you see these spikes it seems like quarter four it always ends up spiking because i'm guessing concerts and other things like that end up doing things so um quarter four on everything always seems to have a spike ever since uh 2021 it looks like so our annual revenue per vtuber has gone up in millions of japanese yen so it's gone up really really well business expansion their licensing collaboration services revenue grew 49 percent year on year so here's their stuff here here's their splits i stay here for a little bit of a second so you guys can see everything they're saying steady expansion and merchandising service the licensing collaborations have grown their seasonality due to made to order merchandise and large-scale events have grown um is recorded as advanced payment on the balance sheet so most of the pieces made to order merchandise are anniversary items that type of thing Larger revenue in quarter four compared with other quarters due to large scale events held in quarter four. So I was right there. Historical trends and costs. Like I said, I'm going to go over just shortly because I don't. This is a long one. I could spend 20, 30 minutes on this on this thing. But, you know, quarter two, there was an increase in manufacturing costs due to more uh, transactions and like business to business transactions, that type of thing. Uh, and uh, material cost transactions and things like that. Into a content, even cost remains at a limited level compared with the same period of previous year. So they're doing outsourcing expenses, perfor performer remuneration. The remuneration for performers means that that's usually, if I'm not mistaken, and correct me if I'm wrong, usually Hololive gives base minimum income to every single one of their talents. When they start, even before they're, they're monetized, etc. They give them the base minimum because of course, every single one of them is gonna be monetized eventually. But even when they're monetized, 
they have a base salary that they give and then they have all the other remuneration which is you know the super chats the the memberships that type of stuff all that other stuff gets put on top of that now company a who we know as any color doesn't do that Company B as Brave, I'm not sure if they do that or not, but they do, but we know at least uh, Hollow Life Company C cover does this. During quarter two period, revenue was driven highly profitable products such as trading card game. Yes, quarter two grew by a lot. They changed their forecast and the stock market showed that yes, they increased a lot. So the stock market grew because of that, as I had covered recently. Circle trends, SGA and expenses, basically SGNA is like their, their, their base expenses, the things that they have to do as a business, if I'm not mistaken. That yeah, personnel, office equipment, warehouse, outsourcing, other SGNA expenses. We have trends in marginal profit and the marginal profit ratio. Uh, it rose to a record high of 63.6 on year on year against the backdrop of sales, being driven by the non-labor intensive commerce business. Historical trends. They increased by 80.2% year on year operating income. So that's the things I want to put out there. Overview, proportion of commerce business and total revenue for the first half of the period rose 66%. 666 number, it's an interesting number. Uh, so the proportion of commerce business grew uh, because of the launch of the trading card game. So that was good. The development, they debuted Flow Glow. They expanded music-based products and services, expansion of content featuring overseas performers, the other concerts and events that they have uh, here with, um, you know, their uh super expo their of course their soar world tour that they're doing merchandising launch sales of a trading card game in september launch uh product planning product logistics that type of thing licensing reinforcement of profitability through restructuring a sales organization basically what they're going to be doing the progress medium to long-term business they want to debut things develop them and they move on to the next stage of music concerts games streamers table card you know trading card game so th they develop they definitely develop their talents very well compared to company a they spend a lot of money a lot of time again compared to company a so here we have migration of fans the hotline membership subscription status they are a lot of people are subscribed to two channels or more and are members of two channels or more 55 percent of users have subscribed to multiple channel memberships within hololife so memberships is where they grow uh regloss first 3d live performance realistic direction of live concerts by enhancing operational capabilities maximum number of simultaneous connection recorded approximately 200k X trend number one, Regloss first 3D live performance are showing the growth of it. It increased in the short term uh, momentum for Hollow Life English. Basically, Advent joined uh, on July and they grew as well. Right when uh, Justice uh, joined, they grew even more. So it's basically number of pieces of content, right access. So the number of content grew. Total hours watched also grew. Overseas per event participation, you have US, New York, uh, Republic of Korea, Australia, Sydney, China, Shanghai. France, Paris for Japan Expo, Anime Expo, US, California. They're showing all the different places that they've been going to. They're expanding across the world. Uh, launching more sales to develop TCG Hollow Life official card game. That's really a moneymaker for them. It has made them a lot of money. It has grown way more than they thought it would. And I'm very happy to see that. They improving logistics by also, you know, remember they're also making a headquarters in, for at least for logistics wise and for US distribution of products in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles, California. Development status of Hollow Earth games. Steady progress in developing new services for medium to long term business expansion. In addition to October 24 update, the company implemented the latest test version of boss battle content. Also added avatar items, stamps, emoticons, all that type of stuff. And yeah, the appendix is agency to expand the IP business. They want to expand their IP business. Current status of growth in number of fans. Uh, YouTube Kick, Spotify, TV, all the other stuff. You know, they're, they're, they're doing everything they can to continue to grow. And that is what matters. And you know, they're doing the mission accomplishments, all these other statements that they have for Hollow Indie, for ESG related activities, uh, for all that type of stuff. They're just doing a lot of growth, which is what's really important in this whole thing. And of course, someone did a big rundown of everything massive revenue growth compared to quarter two last year operating profit grew as well first forecast of 40.5 and net profit 27.4 merchandising carried hard up to 79.8 percent compared to quarter two of last year 100 percent compared to the last quarter as well 90.1 percent growth in licensing specific highlights expansion of content regloss sub count jumped by 50 percent september en total hours watched the past last year's following advents debut uh hollow gta happening in the same month dedicated page with map highlighting uh second TG tcg booster pack grew as well all the things that i had mentioned it is a great time for growth in cover thanks to their trading card game and i'm very happy to say that i'm very happy to report that hollow live recently has continued their stage world tour 24 soar at indonesia comic-con 2024 in jakarta so there we go you have the the wonderful look i'll, I'll 
show it as closely as I can. Of course, they have the kind of 3D stage in the middle and they have the screens on the side of where the camera is focusing, of course, as always. You have Muna there. You have all the girls, Watame Bay, others up on stage. As you can see, Kiara's there, Kobo's there, Ina's there, uh, Muna's there. You know, uh, they're all there. Aski's there. Aski having her own moment. You know, they're all up there, all doing their very best to entertain. The people in indonesia and of course everyone is super happy to see them there id market totally negligible per kurasani standard by the way repeat after me they did mika michi and surely some others very dirty they absolutely did this is what happens when you don't give up for example hololive since we're on the topic of hololive didn't give up with device either device had a hard and rocky growth uh raden and others didn't grow quickly as quickly as like other branches of hololive because device is its own branch just like ID is its own branch, English is its own branch, JP is its own branch. They're all separate. And uh, JP didn't, uh, had a lot of growth. JP always had a lot of growth because, you know, it started slow. JP always started slow at the very beginning. But they are the pillars that everyone else stands upon. You have uh, EN and ID, which had a bit of a uh, bit of an interesting growth. ID had a slower growth than EN overall because ID was kind of a little bit of a test for how EN audiences would get people who speak English primarily or speak English as a big part of it. Uh, as I mentioned, device had, a, had a, a rocky growth. So they actually take time and put things through and work hard at making sure to properly uh, promote and give money to aid the, the branches that they need to make sure that they at least have a legit chance of growing. If they don't grow, that's something else, but they do their best to give them at least a legit chance of growing. Uh, Hot Live World Tour in Indonesia. Concert crowded, but a lot of people cheering. Talents had to sing their best. Uh, also during the talk session, JP and Ian trying their best speaking Indonesian to us, and a lot of Indonesians like it. Even though there was a tech issue in Watam and Aski performance, they fixed it quickly, and the audience don't mind about it. Tech issue was that half the screen was split. You can only see one of them. Overall, Hot Live World Tour in Indonesia was a success. Like others said, it's unfortunate that any color pulled out the ID market. Because the incompetence of what's done is done. Any cutter already put a final nail in the coffin. Also, there's a bit of a spoiler for you guys during the final show. New remix of Shiny Smiley Story. And it was a dubstep remix. And it was to hear it again. But we don't know if we're going to release it. If you guys have other questions about the concert, let me know. Of course, they're going to release a DVD, at least, of some of the stuff that they have out there. At least one of the concerts is going to be uh, a DVD Blu-ray. Blu-ray nowadays. DVD is old. I feel like very old when I say that. But uh, Blu-ray. They're going to have a, definitely a Blu-ray out there. A disc version. Well, a tour. What them in now on step. Aski, this is the full on um, set list. If you want to take a look at it, all of them. They're, they're set list here. Of here, at Encore SSS Remix. Totally not copy paste. Uh, I asked you a question. Saw Hololive cosplayer in my Twitter timeline. Somebody said almost 50% of cosplayers were Hololive during this event. Mostly Hollow ID and Suisse. Is that right? Yep, that's right. Not only I saw Suisse and Hollow ID cosplay, but others as well, such as Aski, Gigi, Kiara, Mume, Raura, even though it's rare. I also saw someone cosplay Axel from Hollow Stars as well. So yeah, everyone's getting some love. And I want to show you this to you guys because this is always important to see when an agency, yes, they're a large agency. Yes, they're a corporation. Yes, they're out for, for money and income and stuff like that as well. But at the very least, they give their talents wonderful moments like this where they can enjoy it as well. Bibu, the wonderful uh, rock rock from Hollow Life Advent has gotten 700K on YouTube. And she has celebrated that with release of two small audios of her IRO mother, singing her OG song. It's incredible how Mom Seki sounds even cuter than Biju's source tweet. The source tweet is there. I love when they have the source tweets because then I don't have to go fish them up. But even if they don't have it, you know, I will fish them up one way or the other. Mom be like that Lolita mom from Masamune Kun. It was confirmed by Biju. Her mom is a tomboy. Hololive has Lali Baba tag. You know, right here. Here we go. Here's the first one. And uh, everyone, of course, enjoy. <laughs> That's the first one. That is very, very cute. Here you go, Mom Seki singing it along to Prism No Maho. Thanks again for 700k. Hi, Mom. Love you. And she says thank you again, of course. 
a happy mom. Um, wow, Mom Seki sounds so cute. It's just like you, for real, for real. Uh, down here, I'm gonna, gonna have it this way so that you guys can see it better. Uh, Mom Seki sounds so cute, just like you. My God, it's so adorable. Absolute cinema. She sounds so much like you. Thank you, Mom Seki, for singing. It's beautiful. No way, this is so cute. Wait, are you your own mom? My heart, this, though, this is so cute. So cute, OMG. You sure you, it's not you, Bibu? She sounds just like you. That's very cute of Mom Seki. Thank you for sharing Bibu and Mom Seki. Uh, Mom Seki has a cute and sweet singing voice. Yago, we need Mahalo Mom unit now because yeah we have um of course peko mom and now we have we're gonna have mom seki is gonna be a part of hollow mom of course of course of course of course always so this is just very cute i'm very very glad to see it let's see what let's see more things that people are saying here um they say i love how supportive and involved mom seki is remember she is a tomboy very cute very very cute just giving you guys a little bit of, of a taste of everything going on in different spaces a bit of a wonderful thing happened to sayu as you know when it comes to uh, at least one of the big three, one of the big two, at least in Japan, the uh, Blue Dorito Company, um, they, or the Blue Triangle Company, whatever you want to call it, uh, they allow their talents on their off time, on their past life accounts, their personal accounts, whatever you want to call them. They allow them to continue to do their work there and they allow them to, you know, be with anybody that they need to, uh, as long as it's not tied directly to them, which is fine. And this is what we're talking about. Um, we're talking about, you know, people um, that uh, you're going to hear the voice. You're going to hear the voice. You're going to recognize it. Basically, someone from Hololive uh, under that that cover company is uh, was doing something with them. I'm just going to let you hear the voice itself. And then you'll know who it is if you know anything about Hololive or cover overall. The, the males inside of cover, at least. I feel like they would scale it to the amount of people. Oh, so there you go that voice if you know then you know i'm not gonna go very deep into that but if you know then you know gushing aside i wonder if there are reasons for using one account over the other depending on situation he was using the main his main when cheering on dn so i'm not sure what to do with this band risk especially considering sai is not with an agency it's probably not very deep but i do admit i'm a bit curious so basically people are saying that um Usually, it's incredibly hard to get perms for collabs with people outside of the, the Blue Dorito company. Uh, always been like that. Anidi Sanji did the same too when Ian was flourishing with them. There were not just a few times. This happened to Ame, Kiara, and Mume, but on the JP side too. Yes, it's hard to get perms to play a game, number one. Even if they, they were they were trying to do it under Hololive, uh, under the uh, the cover umbrella, it's hard to get this one because they were playing a another specific game there. Uh, they were playing, I think, uh, Dark Hours or something like that, I believe the name is, of the game. It's hard to get those rights. Same thing happened with Helldivers, I believe, where they did, Helldivers 2, I mean, where they didn't have the rights to that. And um, the guys ended up doing a collab with Doki as well. So that is something a bit normal. Didn't want to go too far into it, but just letting you know that, yes, Sayu is winning yet again. We have the full 360 degree view of Sayu, Sayu Synchronicity, and her figure that she's having. My first figure is available now. Very tall 5-inch Sayu is a perfect addition to your desk. Pre-orders will be open November 9th to December 9th. You can buy it at the link below or retreat plus reply to post an enter giveaway. Winner will be chosen November 19th. Here is the Crescent Moon Sayu figures.fun. It is not expensive. 50 bucks. I mean, if you don't have the money, like myself, it's very expensive. It's too expensive because you don't have the money. But if you're a regular person who has money to spend, um, 50 bucks is actually not bad because it looks like it's a good quality one. Uh, I love the face of it. I love the look of it. It still costs a lot of money to make, as you know. So it's very, very nice to see. And, um, you know, it's the same thing before. Uh, I, I I said when it was first announced, it's like you need to find a jar big enough. Uh, congratulations on the figure side. It looks amazing. I uh, look cool. I'm considering buying one or, or two, but shipping kind of pricey, not going to lie. Also kind of put them on slowly spinning figure display. Hard choice. Yeah, the spinning figure display makes it kind of look nice. Kind of makes it like just having spinning like that kind of would make it look nice. I'll still keep like I, if I were to buy it, I would still keep it in the container and the uh, whatever the packaging it came with because yeah, absolutely I would do that. But it's nice to see Sayu getting some wins like this. Very much love it. If you were not aware, Matara is someone who was doing a uh, subathon. She hit 40k subs from what it looks like in, in total, which is a lot of subs. You multiply that by about five to six bucks. Well, let's say she's getting 70, 80 percent. Let's say four bucks each. Let's see, 350 to four bucks each. That's about 100K minimum. And I think she doesn't really share any of that with Vishojo necessarily. It's not like they don't get a percentage as far as I know. So that's that's a good amount of money. It's a good amount of money. And here she is, start. of course. She hit 40K. She's at 39,811. And then she stops. Saving your money, Shimada, because we have decided with the Momos that at 40K, we will end. I mean, look, at 40K, we close the timer. 
I will stream tonight until I can no longer stream. And I will still fulfill a lot of the goals up to 50k. There's a few goals that I won't do, but I'm gonna get a fishing Momo tattoo and all that stuff. This is it. In less than... She's gonna get a fishing Momo tattoo. That's crazy. 200. It is... It would be done. It's there. This is it. You are here. I'm sorry, fishes. I'm cutting you off after this. I'm sorry, fishes. I love you. Shimana, thank you for another 100 gifted. Laws, thank you for the 10. We're here, my sweet Momos. Hey, why does it not let me go a little further? Hold on. With me. We, I feel, have done so much and have learned so much. And I'm just... I'm so excited. I'm gonna definitely cry reading all your kind messages for the one year. And if this is where we got in one year, imagine us in five years. I'm gonna have a million fishing tattoos. I'm gonna be just filled with fishing tattoos. <laughs> okay, can I please ask you all to take a nice photo for me, please, that I'm gonna post on the social media. Please, 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 please. Oh, it feels surreal. I cried yesterday because I knew that it was gonna be over soon. And genuinely, I think I'm gonna cry when I have to turn off the stream tonight. I think, I think just when I turn off the stream tonight, I think that's when it's gonna really hit me as well. I promise you we're gonna do fishing. I'm gonna take you to work and put fishing and words on stream more often. Maybe twice a month for sure to start. I promise we're gonna do movie night at least one time a month. It's super fun. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I, I guess I guess let's pause the timer. So that is what happened. The community was really, really great with her. They really supported her fully and entirely as they should, as it always should happen with any VTuber who's amazing like her and others out there. And I'm very glad that she was able to reach this point after a year. She reached a, a stronger point now than where she was before. Why? Because now she has good management that lets her be strong. She's a part of WME. So they let her join those type of places too. They let her be herself and they let her strengths show. Unlike her last agency, which was really bad with welcome back everybody to the VTuber showcase, the place where I like to showcase up and coming VTubers, VTubers of all shapes, sizes, and forms. No discrimination here. No, like, oh my God, you're this or that. No, none of that. So we're trying to do that because we are trying to push the community up, push others up along with me. As I grow, I want others to grow and I want to show everybody the wonderful parts of the VTuber community. And I do this because I have been given a lot of wonderful opportunities. I have been given a lot of love, so I want to pay that forward. Today we're talking about Belzebel, who recently celebrated 500 uh, subs on YouTube and she's at 574 right now. Of course, taking a look at their schedule, and their past live streams they did inscription recently they did um you know a, a, a couple of other things here and there here's a look of inscription <laughs> hi jake yeah i like strange larva a lot too black goat we'll do scissors okay so inscription is a game that i never played but it does look like fun when you see other people play it so maybe i'll play one of these days and once again thank you so much for this and I'll also show once that's the last thing I will show their twitch channel of course when you are not directly an affiliate the twitch will not save any of your videos or also sometimes they may set it as not to be saved but this is their twitch channel your friendly neighborhood demon girl next door I don't worry I don't bite too hard business email is there um I'm Belzebel your friendly demon tail demon kaiju girl next door you can call me B Bell Bales whatever you want to call them and uh, they do like uh, mentioning here variety of games, but I especially love JRPGs, souls like games. I'm also trying really hard to become an idol. So we'll also have a character streams from time to time, which is always nice to see. It's always nice to see people, you know, spread their wings and see how far they can go. Again, thank you so much, Belzebel, for allowing me to showcase you on my channel. I do hope this at least brings some eyes to your channel and hopefully helps you grow in some way, shape or form. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.